Hi, I'm Stuart and welcome to Sarnet Television. We're going to take a look at something that Chris is working on over in Studio 2. He's taking apart a Whelan product. It happens to be the M6BTT. Let's go over to Chris right now. Thank you, Stuart. I have here Whelan's M6 brake tail turn LED light head. Works great for fire, rescue, law enforcement equipment, DOT trucks as well. I'm going to give you a bit of an uh, inside look at what's going on behind the front polycarbonate red coated lens to get a better look at the diodes inside. So really how it's a little different as far as what's behind the lens versus a normal M6 warning light head. And then also what's in the board here to make everything work for you. The back of the unit has a incorporated sealed gasket, helps keep the back of the light head clean, condensation, grime from getting in. We'll go ahead, slide that away. It's a centered pigtail, four wire output. Basically you have a ground connection, a brake light circuit connection, a tail light connection, and then also a scan lock wire, which lets you adjust the brake light. So you can either have it just come to a full solid burn, we'll call it, or you can have it do the flicker effect for more attention grabbing. And I'll show you that here at the end when I light it up. Back of the head is an aluminum fixture, basically is what uh, starts the whole process and construction of the head. It's got a incorporated Gore-Tex breather seal here, so that lets the air inside the unit vent outward, so it also helps with heat dissipation. The unit is actually held together with a series of screws. So I'm going to go ahead now, get those out of the way. And you may notice as I'm taking the screws out that the tops are coated with a green epoxy. The green epoxy basically helps as a, a little bit of a sealant barrier for the screws going into the holes done in the aluminum backing here. So with those removed, we can go ahead now separate the light head itself. You can see with a little bit of a wiggle, the front lens comes off. It's a solid piece with a pressed in contoured black edge. To give you a better look at what's going on inside the unit here, so to create the really super intense output that the M6 brake light offers, you have a whole plethora of diodes. So basically stacked all over the board here to completely illuminate the light head versus an M6 warning light where you have two rows of diodes that have a Whelan linear diffuser over them to help the two rows spread for lighting all through the lens, top, bottom, midsection, left and right output. But because it's a brake light fixture, in this case, we want the intensity to be very focused directly to the rear of the vehicle. And with that, you don't need to have diffusers in here showing the light upwards, downwards, and for off access illumination. Because really, think about your brake lights, tail lights, you don't see the output on an off access point. It's just to let folks right behind you know what you're doing. The diodes themselves are all epoxy sealed onto the main circuit board here. The board itself is actually lifted off the aluminum backing here. So you can see that there's an incorporated spacer. Also the wiring harness goes through the aluminum backing here, runs centered up into four soldered pin positions there. And then from there, the four soldered pin positions go out to the chips, the relays, telling the light heads to do what when what trigger is activated. So with that, the diodes know if they need to go really bright for the brake light being applied, or if they need to burn in a softer glow for just your taillight being activated. So it's a really trick, really unique light head that Whelan's constructed here. 
Again, far different than the M6 warning light head. Also what's nice is you have an incorporated gasket on the back here, which helps in turn, again, seal the whole fixture, keeping condensation, grit and grime from getting inside here. But even if that's the case, the unit is designed to withstand the exterior mount on the vehicle. So vibration, grit, grime on the outside of the unit from just normal weather changes will be just fine for it. So again, lens seals on here, keeping anything from getting in the back here. You have an air breather to help clear out the heat from when the lights are on, because yes, LEDs do build up some heat after time. So again, gasket seals up, screw it back together. It's a one piece unit again. So go ahead, put the lens back on the unit here. Making sure that my gasket spaces into the back of the head properly. Now I can go ahead, put the six set screws back in place. Back together, take the mount gasket, run the harness through the center there. And if you're wondering, the M6, like the warning lights, can be dressed up. There's a flange available for it. So in this case here, I happen to have the chrome available in black as well. So if you wanna dress it up, have it a little nicer on the application, the flange easily slides over the light head giving a nice clean chrome flange trim ring. So getting to the wires here, it's a little different than some of the other M series, but again, take a look at the wiring tutorial that comes with the head. That way you'll know what to connect to what on your vehicle. But in this case, the solid white is the ground. So go ahead, connect that. The yellow is the high intensity brake light trigger. The brown is the low intensity or the tail light trigger. So apply power to the brown trigger wire here. Unit comes on for a tail light, low glow intensity. If you then take and apply power with the yellow and see it comes on, does the quick flicker effect for when the brake light circuit's applied. And as you can see, again, very attention grabbing with the wheel in quick flicker effect. I'll go ahead, take the scan lock wire here. So when I have the yellow trigger applied, get it connected there, scan lock, hold it in place for a moment. Now, when power is applied, and see that the light head itself just comes on without the flicker effect. So again, the scan lock can control how your brake light will work for you. So it's really nice. You can have two different ways that it can be done on your application. Well, there you have it. Whelan's M6 brake tail turn LED light head. Bit of a look at what's going on behind the lens here to give it the intensity that it offers for your use. I'm Chris. Thanks for joining me on Sirenet Television. Back to you, Stuart. Well, thanks, Chris. That was pretty darn interesting. And again, as always, many thanks for watching Sona Television.